Here we see a 657B. Looks like he's minus a four pin and an apron. By golly, he's even missing the engine package. Then we see a 651E. A little more modern. Then I think I think we got a couple of 651Bs or maybe they're 641s. But I think they're 51Bs. And then we got another 657. Nope. Nope, 651B. And then in the background coming into view is a tired old 641 rust bucket. Spent a lot of time working on those old girls. Then we move over to the other side and we've got a fleet of 660 Bravos or 660Bs pulling cans. Now they're all Looks like they're ready to go to work here. They've got the exhaust taped up. Somebody's got faith in the fact that they can move more dirt with them. I'd hate to be the mechanic or oiler on that spread. About a million grease fittings. and I think they'd keep a guy busy. Then we see another 51B sitting there. It looks like he's in better shape than the one on the other side we saw. And then there's a 657. Then we got some dollies. I think there's three or four, two axe, uh, two tire, and about six of the single tire ones. The tires on the ground, and then we've got a few of the dump trailers. Now, not sure if these are Athey or Atlas or what brand they are. I didn't get too close because of the rattlesnake situation around there. Then on the ground, we see a haul and loader pieces, power pack. And conveyor belts. I think on the ground there was enough to make two or possibly three haul and loaders because there was more over on the other side by the scrapers. Ralph Mitzel was on some of the equipment and John Madonna was on most of it. Rumor has it they came out of an auction in Southern California and speculation from a friend of mine has it that they probably belong to Kerr out of Woodburn. Now look at these poor old 660Bs. I mean, they are only just about one step off of an 80 wagon or a uke. Hard tail, hard riding, noisy exhaust. You see the exhaust coming out of the middle of the hood. Thank God they didn't have Detroit diesels in them anyway. Then you see a few of the mufflers got mounted up on top of the ROPs. So that, you know, that's an improvement. A little bit of creature comfort, but not much because I don't see any big suspension seats on there. I'd hate to ride one of those more than about 50 feet. I hope you've enjoyed this walk back in time. I know it's brought back a lot of memories for me. I started on working construction in 1969 on DW20s and 21s, cat and cans, a lot of similar old iron. Here you see some still pictures of the dollies and the lineup of equipment. They moved a lot of dirt, took strong individuals, keep them moving, took an even stronger mechanical force to keep them in action, I'm sure of that. Thanks for your time.